Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, you're going to see how to install MariaDB on Ubuntu, Debian, or any Linux distro for that matter. So I will use a Valtra server. Even on a virtual box, virtual machine, you can still follow along as long as you're using Linux. So if you want to do this on a production server, you can get $300 free credit from Valtra, and you can use that to get a free virtual machine. I will put the link in the description. I'm just going to use the documentation to make sure that in the end we have MariaDB installed. So the first thing you need to figure out which version of Maria MariaDB you want to install. So if you want to run MariaDB on a production server, you should always go with an LTS version. For that, I'm going to use End of Life, which is a website that can tell you the versions of different Linux applications. So I'm just going to search for End of Life MariaDB. I will click there, MariaDB End of Life. The latest LTS version is 11.4. So that's the one you want to install if you're going to use this in a production environment. You can also go with the LTS version of 10.11 versions. And this one ends in three years. So as of the date of this recording, it will be supported up to 2028. And this one will be supported for four years up to May 20. 29. Now that you're sure that you want to install 11.4, MariaDB 11.4 LTS, you can just go to mariadb.org. If you want to install the enterprise version, you can go to mariadb.com. So I'm just going to go to mariadb.org. So once you go to mariadb.org, just click there on download. Get the repository. MariaDB server repositories and you should select your Linux version right there. In this example, I'm going to use Ubuntu 24.04. Choose a MariaDB version. I will select 11.4 LTS and that's pretty much it. So once you've selected your Linux distro from there, everything you need to set it up on your server is here. So next thing, I'm assuming you already have your server. So the next thing is to log into your server. So I'm going to go log into my server. I'll come back to Valtra. I will copy my IP. Here I'm logging with an SSH key. If you don't know how to do this on Valtra, I did a video about how to deploy a Valtra server using an SSH key and I'm going to add the link in the description below. This is a brand new server so I'm going to first of all update the server. Press enter to confirm. The next thing I can just do an apt search to see if there's any MariaDB repository already available with the default Ubuntu. So I can do that by searching for MariaDB. So if I search for MariaDB server, let's see. Okay, we already have a version here. MariaDB noble updates available and the version that it comes with is 10.11. So you can see if you're using Ubuntu 20.04, or even 22.04 and you just want to install the 10.11 LTS, you don't have to do anything. You can just install it directly by using apt install MariaDB. But if you want to install a different version, you'll have to add the repository. So the first thing is to import the MariaDB repository and add the keyrings. So I'm just going to copy this. I will run this on my server. And I will press enter to confirm. All right, so the first part is done. The next step, we need to create this file and then paste all of this inside of that file. So I'm just going to copy this, etsy, 
apt sources list mariadb copy and then i will come back to my server control l to clear the screen control shift v to paste and this is a file we are supposed to create and you can see it's inside of the etsy etsy directory anything inside of etsy directory requires root permissions so if you are root if you're not the root user you are you probably have sudo privileges so you're going to use sudo and vi is the editor i want to use you can use nano but i'm going to use vi there we go the file is there now we can paste all this so i'm going to copy Control shift v to paste that's that's that for that i'm just going to escape press escape and then shift zz to save on vim if you're on ubuntu probably shift zz is not going to work so before you use vim just do sudo apt install vim for you to have the same vim so we can do an update we can just use this to update our our repo let's update our cache the next thing you can now install mariadb so i'm just going to copy that from there sudo apt you can use apt get or sudo apt control shift v to paste on top of installing the mariadb server you may also want to install mariadb client enter accept yes enter okay there we go mariadb is now installed you can just confirm your version of mariadb using mariadb v and you're going to see that your mariadb is 11.43 and that's the version we wanted to install and it doesn't end there you still need to secure mariadb server you can secure your mariadb server by running mysql secure installation of course if you don't remember the command our friend is google just go to google and search for secure mariadb and the command is mysql secure installation there you go there so i can just click on it and just run mysql mariadb secure installation let's go back and we're going to run that paste enter and it's going to ask you a series of questions just answer them they are self-explanatory questions that you can work your way through so the first one enter current password for root right now it doesn't have a root password so i'm just going to press enter it's going to set a root password so unless you're the root user on this server you can't log into mysql as a root user without the root password and then switch to unix socket you can switch to unix socket that will listen on the unix socket and you don't have to use ports so i just press enter to accept the default every time you see capital y that means that when you press enter that is a default if n is a capital then that is a default in this case y is a default so you can press enter you can change the root so you can safely answer no but you can change the root password if you have a specific root password that you want to use you can generate a password and come and use it here so just as an example i'm going to change the root password by pressing enter and i'm going to give the i'm going to enter my password so make sure it's a very strong password so the next step is we need to remove the anonymous user i'm going to press enter disallow root login remotely if you want to access your server remotely you're going to have to create another user and give them the privileges they need to access your database remotely i'm going to press enter and then you can remove the test database yes remove it reload privilege tables now yes reload them and that's it now that's pretty much how to secure the db just run mariadb secure installation if you want to create tables if you want to log into your mariadb that is beyond the scope of this tutorial but you can just go to mariadb and 
since I'm the root user, I can log in without a password. If you're not root, you're going to need a password. And the moment you access your database, you can see your database server. You can see it also tells you the version that you're running. There you go. You can see your database is there. Let me just create another server with CentOS. And if you're running any Red Hat related Linux, such as Fedora, CentOS, Alma Linux, Rocky Linux, you're going to see how to install MariaDB on CentOS, RHEL, Alma Linux, Rocky Linux, Fedora, basically any RHEL related operating system. I've already deployed the server here on Voltra. If you want to follow along, on your local computer, you, you can create a virtual machine on your local computer using VirtualBox, Vagrant, etc. If you are going to use Valtra, I have $300 free credit in the link below. And this is the one I'm going to install. So to install it, I'm going to add the repository for RHEL CentOS etc. So to do that, go to mariadb.org and then click on download. So I'm just going to go on the homepage, click on download. Here under repository, you have already figured out the version you want to install is 11.4 and you want to install it on, I'm going to go with CentOS stream. So this is going to work for any of those rel based Linux. You have already decided you want to install 11.4 LTS version. To set up the repository is as easy as creating a file inside there and you can call it whatever. In this case, you're just being advised. You're just being given a recommendation. You can name the file mariadb.repo and it should be created inside of this directory. First of all, of course, I need to log into my server. I haven't logged in yet. It's just a brand new server. So I will come back to Valtra and this is, this is running CentOS stream. So I'm going to copy my IP, SSH root at and i'm logging in with an ssh key if you don't know how to set this up for your valtra server i will put the link for that video in the description there's a video i show you how to set this up of course accept the fingerprint so just type yes just like that we are now logged into our valtra server Control l to clear the screen I need to update, so I'm just going to update the server. So if you're not the root user, you're going to have to add sudo, but I am the root user, so I can just do it without sudo. We're going to need to create this file. Let me just create a txt file. There's no point in waiting while I can prepare this. So I need to create a file inside of this folder, copy. So I'll just paste the folder there. And I will call the file just as the suggestion is being made here. If you're not the root user, of course, you're going to need to use sudo. So you can add sudo vi. Vi, if you want to use vim or sudo nano, I want to use vim. Control A. I will copy this and bring it back. Control shift v to paste. You need to put this inside of that file. I will copy, come back. Control shift v to paste. I will press escape on Vim. And then I will do shift zz. Shift zz to save that file. We're going to do sudo dnf install mariadb server and mariadb client. y and then enter let me just do Control c to show you how you can get rid of this y uh, this request so i'm just going to press Control c to get out of that and let's bring up the command again sudo dnf install mariadb you can just add dash y and this is going to install it without asking you for any prompt all right mariadb is installed so of course the next thing is to secure MariaDB. 
and you can just do MariaDB secure installation and that's going to secure your MariaDB server. So this is quite easy to remember, MariaDB secure installation. Just run that and this is going to ask you for a couple of prompts. You can read them, they're very self-explanatory. So enter the current password for root. It doesn't have a password, it's a new installation of MariaDB. So I'm just going to press enter. Let's just get out of this for a moment, control C. Control Z, I mean, Control Z will just put that in the background and I will clear the screen, Control L. So you can see when I do systemctl status MariaDB, uh, you can see it is disabled, it is not running. So this is a problem. So let's just fix this. We're going to do systemctl enable what enable will do so if you're not the root user make sure you use sudo sudo systemctl going back to enable systemctl enable is going to enable this so when the system restarts it's going to start with mariadb and we want to start it now so to start it now you can just do systemctl enable dash dash now mariadb and there we go now we can go back to our process remember to put the process in the background we did control z to bring it to the foreground we can just do fg enter so we can switch the unique socket i'm just going to do enter for all the upcoming ones change the root password sure yes i can change it but just know that it has already been set by the system but if you want to change it to something that you know make sure you generate a really strong password and use that as your root password for the mysql so for this i'm just going to press enter and give it a password and then the next thing remove anonymous users definitely disallow root login remotely yes you don't want the root user to be able to log into your server remotely and i will do a video showing you how you can connect remotely to your mysql it's usually not allowed by default but you can make it happen so remove test database and access to it yes reload privilege tables now yes all right that pretty much has secured your mariadb server and if you're going to use this in a production environment of course make sure you install a firewall on your server you lock it down so that if you're going to use this server remotely you figure out how to allow your ip you only allow the ip of the web server to be able to access your db server we can just check if our mysql is actually running so i can just do my sql enter and you can see our mysql server is running and that is the current version you can also show current databases that should pretty much end this tutorial in this video you've seen how you can install mariadb that's it for this video if you're going to set up a server you can promote me by using my Valtra affiliate link in the description below. And you're also going to get $300 free credit that you can use to test out the platform. That's it for this video. Let me just delete this because I don't need it. Server destroy. Destroy server. See you next time.